Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today you are in my bathroom because I had been asked to share my updated skincare routine, specifically using the Otour skincare products that I have been rotating into my routine. So I'm excited to share that routine with you. And I have a new product that I'm obsessed with. It is the Optimizing Mask. So you're gonna get to see that in action. And I hope you find this video helpful. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do my skincare routine. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my bathroom and to my morning glory. Not seeing me at my best, but I had been asked if I would share my updated Otour skincare routine. So I have been incorporating these products into my skincare routine. As many of you know, I am a long time user of Biologique Recherche. And yes, I still use those products as well, but I have been incorporating in the Otour skincare a couple times a week, and I will just kind of see what my skin needs. So I'm going to show you this routine, and then I was asked if I would do my Biologique Recherche routine as well. So yes, I will do both, and I am a self admitted skincare junkie. If I turned you around into my messy bathroom, you would see I have several different skincare lines here that I sort of rotate through, but I was specifically asked to kind of update you on this Otour skincare since it is the newest edition. So I have a brand new mask that I am just completely obsessed with and I feel like everybody would love it. And this is the definitive optimizing mask and this literally does it all guys. Like it is going to hydrate, exfoliate, firm, smooth, like it is so good and my skin is just loving it. So I am somebody that likes to mask a few times a week. Um, I don't do a bunch of aggressive treatments because my skin's a little bit fussy, but I am a big believer in masking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my whole routine and using this mask so you can see it in action. And I was asked if Otour is still offering the um, buy one full product and then get the discovery set for free. And they said, yes, they will still honor that. So I will leave that information below in the description box. So we will have a bit of a skincare week where I'll be showing you a few of my different routines. And and for those of you that are new to my channel, I am 54 years old. I have normal to dry skin. My skin can be a bit fussy. I have suffered from rosacea in the past. That has completely gone away. Um, fingers crossed. That was not a good time. <laughs> Um, anybody who suffers from that knows um, not a good time, but basically my concerns are hyperpigmentation, obviously, as well as just overall aging. So I'm going to pull back my hair and we're going to start with cleansing first. I'm going to start with the definitive enzyme cleanser. I absolutely love this cleanser and I use it more like a booster for my other cleanser. So, so basically I mix a little bit of this is a powder into my daily cleanser and I use Biologique Le Eve. This one is 
very hydrating. It's a creamy, milky cleanser that I just love, cannot live without. And then I take the enzyme cleanser and it is a powder. It is so good, you guys. And this is just going to boost my cleanser. It's going to give me some light exfoliation. So, oops. Um, mixing that together. And then I will put this on dry skin and I'll pull you in in two seconds. And now that I put stuff all over my hand. <laughs> and so I will just take this cleanser here with the booster and I will gently massage this into the skin. Now also with this, you can use this just by itself. And what you would do is you would take a little bit of this and wet it. I'll show you that in just two seconds. We'll do a little bit of both. But in general, I mix it in with my milky cleanser. And then I just take a few minutes to sort of massage this into the skin and then I will rinse it off. I am gonna go ahead and show you a little bit of this just with some water. So I'll take a little bit of this powder and then I will mix it between my palms here. And it's just awesome because it makes your face feel super soft, like a little baby's bottom. But this is not an aggressive exfoliant. It is just really finely milled powder. It's so good. I love it. So that is one I would highly recommend. And again, it's something you can add in to your routine because you can use it as a booster. And then I'm just gonna, I was up at 4.30 a.m. with my puppy this morning, so I do look a little peek it. Okay, I'm gonna rinse this off real quick and then we'll do the mask. Okay, I have rinsed off the cleanser and my skin feels super soft. It feels clean and refreshed. And then now we're gonna use my new obsession. I literally love this mask. It has almost like a little bit of a mental feeling to it where it feels so invigorating on your face as well. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a couple pumps here. And one thing about the Otour products is that you don't need to use a lot because they are pricey, but a little goes a long way. And when I was having a consult with them, they told me, you know, one pump, you don't need to use a lot of their products. A little, again, is gonna go a long way. And then I am going to smooth this mask all over. And you guys, it just oh, feels so good. And this is something you can do anytime you want a little pick me up for your skin. And as you can see, it's a very thin layer. It doesn't have any like color to it, but I will tell you there's something like mentally in here. So it feels very like invigorating on the skin. It kind of wakes it up. So I love doing it in the morning. Um, it just is going to brighten my skin. It is going to refine it. It is going to lift it up, give it a little bit of firmness. It's going to plump it up like it does it all. Um, I haven't been this excited about a mask in quite a bit of time. And then what I will do is leave this on for 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes, and basically have a little time to sip a little lemon water, something I like to do in the morning. That's also going to give your skin a little burst of vitamin C internally. So I'm going to go do that, check my email, chill out for about 15 to 20 minutes, and then I will rinse this off and show you the results afterwards. So I'll be back in a few. Quickly poppy back on. Um, this does say to avoid the eye area, but I am going to pop on just so when you see me take it off. My Shantakai, these are the gold energizing eye recovery masks. I'm not even sure if they make these anymore, but it is one of my favorites. So I'm just gonna pop those on 
and you can use any eye mask any of these kind of masks for underneath the eyes but I did want to say you don't want to use the mask underneath the eyes okay so okay now I'll see you in 15 minutes okay it has been about 20 minutes, took a quick phone call. And now what I'm gonna do is rinse this off, but I wanted to show you so far, I don't even know if you can see, but it already looks good before you wash off the mask. So my skin feels a bit firmer so far. So let me rinse this off and then I'll show you afterwards and then we'll do the rest of the morning routine. Okay, I have rinsed off this mask and my face just feels like firm, very refined, um, feels hydrated, but just, it is amazing. Like it just feels so good. So this is something that is just invigorating. I feel like my skin's a little bit clearer and I'm hoping you can see this in the camera. It just really feels just more refined. And any day that I do the mask and then wear makeup, I have like a super good makeup day. Like my skin just sort of smooths on everything so nicely. So after I do the mask, then I'm gonna start rehydrating and I'm gonna use the Definitive Lifting Toner. And I'm trying to think this might be my ultimate favorite from the entire line. I love this mist. It smells really good too. So I spray some of that on and this does have a little bit of a light exfoliant in it as well. It's also just very hydrating, very mild and gentle. I just love that. Now I am going to use an eye serum from Biologique Recherche. As I said, didn't have a lot of sleep last night. So I'm going to use this one. I call it the Mermaid Serum. I like to do that on days when I'm a little bit tired because I'm showing a little bit of bag. So you do not have to do this part. I am just going to go ahead and swear by this. It just is going to add a little bit of hydration underneath the eyes. It really helps with bags. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. I do love the Otour eye cream, which we'll use in two seconds, but just kind of showing you what I do on the day to day. So after I've let the toner sink into the skin, I'm going to use the Definitive Hyaluron Activator. And I love this one as well. One pump is all you need. Take it like that. And this is basically your hyaluronic acid serum. And then this serum is going to basically suck in any of the other moisture like a sponge. And I really like this one. You want to let the serums kind of sink in for a few minutes if you have time, like two minutes in between each step. There's some mornings I don't have time to do that, so I'm just going to whip it all on. But just wanted to say that is one tip to kind of let each layer sink in, do its little magic before moving on. So for myself, I will go ahead and use the Definitive Eye Cream. This is really lovely. I'm gonna use about a pea size amount. And I don't always use that serum every single morning. It's just that I'm having some bag issues. So this one will also help with that. I just was feeling like I needed it today. So I'm just gonna take a minute here and I like to kind of pat that in and de-puff underneath my eyes and bring it up just a bit. Just like a little 
massage here. And that eye cream is fantastic. And I use the eye cream morning and evenings. So the routine with Tour at night is going to be essentially the same, except on nights that I am using the retinol serum. I use that about twice a week, and that is when I'm going to skip using the line serum that you'll see next, and I will use the retinol serum that night. So I only use that about twice a week. Um, my skin does not love retinol, but this one has been super gentle, has not disrupted my skin barrier or anything like that. So I've been tinkering around with adding that in. So at this point in my PM routine, this is when I would add in the definitive retinol serum, but it's the morning, so I'm not gonna put that on, but just letting you know when I would add that step in. So the next step, I'm gonna use the definitive line serum, and this one, again, is going to kind of give my face a little bit of a lift. I love this one as well. This is what it looks like. One pump is all you need. And I am going to, you can put it all over your face, but I like to start where I feel like I need it. And I even use a little bit of this kind of up here. Now with this serum, you definitely need to let it sink in for a few minutes. It will start out a teeny bit tacky, and then as it dries down, that's when you get the little suction cup action going on. So I like to let this one sink in, and this is when I am going to brush my teeth, and my toothbrush has a little timer. It wants me to do two minutes of brushing my teeth, so it's perfect. So then I brush my teeth, while this sinks in before we move on to the last step. Okay, last auteur step is I use the Definitive Restorative Cream. I'm gonna use one pump and then I apply my sunscreen. So I'm gonna take this here and we're going to I'm going to moisturize my skin. Okay, so skin is moisturized, feeling nice and fresh and ready for the day. And then of course I end off with sunscreen. And as I always tell people, this is the most important part of your skincare routine. I love all of the products myself. I think it does make a difference, but honestly, it's all about eating right, getting enough sleep, taking care of your skin, and protecting your skin from the sun. And I love the Glow Skin Beauty. This is the Solar Shade SPF 50. And I take a pump of that, and this is always my ending part of my skincare routine. And I am going to put this all over my face and down to the decolletage. I also try to put a little bit behind the backs of my ears, just any place that you're not going to kind of pay attention to putting sunscreen in. So then I let this sink in for about 15 minutes before I put on any makeup. So keeping it real here, this is my AM routine using these wonderful Otour products. So I've been getting a lot of questions about what I've been using on my skin 
lately. And this has been the new thing that I have been incorporating into my routine. So I hope this was helpful. I am going to go put on some makeup now, but I'm hoping you have a fabulous day and I will be back with another video soon.